c'est son côté qui prend plus d'élèves dans l'école. Là, il y a trois salles là-dedans. Nous prenons un tableau, ça, c'est le troisième année de travail là. Quand le troisième année, il y a peu près 38 timons là-dedans. Donc, dans ce room, They actually have three classes, like with three different grades meeting in this room. Like if you see all those different chalkboards, like you know, they have one classroom or one grade with like 38 students. So this one classroom, so that's another classroom right here or another grade. And it has about 100, 100 kids, 105 kids. And sometimes we have to move the benches from the church here so that they would have enough space for them to sit down. So this other space, another, it's another classroom or another grade, it has about 70 kids. So that's the chalkboard for it. So it's really one big room, the way it is, with three different grades, three different classrooms. When they're meeting, it's really not uh, you know, comfortable or not really appropriate. So that's one building or one room, so we're going to take it to another building. So in this small room, we have about 96 kids. In this small, like you know, four like you know, square room, 96, 96 kids like you know, planning up here. Um, that gets the kindergarten, like you know, preschool class, like you know, just gathering here, 96 children planning up here. And if you see this doorway, if you go through, it's another um, room. That's chalk that they use, but it's. Ça c'est la classe quatrième année ici là il y a classe quatrième année il y a à peu près 22 élèves comme effectif en 22 élèves qui est effectivement nous avons des difficultés parfois pas bien assez de place pour chacun n'est pas assez bon les besoins mais les chaises les besoins nous prêter nous faire là encore et après ça là c'est les mêmes qui servent nos directions les mêmes qui servent nos directions alors et comme c'est une date en fait et en fait So class like a vendor too. That's another classroom, so that's another grade, like 22 children. And if you see this um like this doorway or this little door, they kind of use it as a you know principal, principal's office. It's it's no it's kind of a principal's office because if they really don't have a structure, so this is another classroom, very tiny room. Uh, 22 children meeting here uh, for school every day. Yes. I'm going to show you the other space where the kids come together. <laughs> So once you know we realized that we had a lot more children than the room or the building, what they did that the church or the people they brought those uh, wounds and then put it together kind of a shelter and then in this section there's one classroom in the other section, 
there's no impact. As you can see, there's probably more, no roof. Uh, they use that little blue top on this side, and there's nothing on this other side. And then they actually have to bring the benches from the church every time here to, to meet. And a total committee will be able to look like here. On dit actuellement total le collat a supposé dans 350. Il lève c'est ça qui fait l'autre ville moi de pour gamme quand il y a un gars en vie on met 450. Ça fait ça nous met 50. Celui ci t'a gagné quelque année qui garder pour nous quand nous disparaître. Ça qui nous dit il met 350 qui lève normalement. So far in my plot one thing that we could say we have about like 350 kids right now registered as of October. In January, they know there they, they were a lot more children that registered who didn't come on in October that got coming. So you can see the situation where the kids are coming together is really not uh, appropriate, I would say. Like, you know, having 105 kids in one small building and having right now uh, in this particular room, which is the, probably the, the best, um, you know, suited for the kids. Uh, and they have to bring benches from inside out to meet. So it's really one big need for the school uh, to have a structure, a building where they can come together and they can, you know, comfortably sit down and learn. We have about seven teachers teaching and then it's not good for one teacher to be uh, speaking lower, to not be able to, you know, create noise for the other one. So it's really uh, not a comfortable situation for the school and uh, we would love to be able to uh, to get a structure for them where they can come and we have the manpower you know willing to do it to come here with all the tools we have available so the only thing we need is the the financial like the finances to be able to afford some lumbers two by four some uh, tin roof and get a structure going here for them for those uh for those kids so we really would love to engage you guys in this uh, effort but I was here on Friday just meeting with the kids and the parents and there were about like 350 kids and as of January because so many parents in Haiti most of them they, they could not get things ready on time to send their kids to school in October so many of those children are gonna come in January so as of now, they already have 350 kids and I was able to see them on Friday and have a program with them and celebrate with them. So as of January 8th, they're going to be a lot more, probably almost 500 kids in those, you know, building I was just showing you guys. So it's a really big and urgent need to get a structure in place for them to be able to come and, and learn and study. So we would love to engage you guys in, in like this school building in, in, in my plan. So these are the washroom or the restroom the kids use. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really in you in you men I would say even like you know just having come from Canada and then you know even being Haitian but seeing the way at you know 350 kids in the in the schoolyard are living and not even people you know not even being able to get proper water or drinking water it's very much inappropriate. So my hope is to be able to tear down this building and also tear, tear down this other building and use this whole uh, space to build a, a proper structure. And it's not going to be a structure that's going to be like, you know, in blocks because it might be a little bit expensive. We want to do something urgent and fast. So we, I'm hoping to be able to tear down these building, those buildings and build a structure, even using plywood to buy for just that will allow them to have enough room uh, appropriate space where they can just sit down and meet as a school. Uh, 350 kids now, almost 500 in January. Uh, we would love to get that done as soon as possible. So we engage you to guys, um, you know, help us if you feel compelled to do so. Because the Ministry of Mapa really need this uh, assistance. <laughs>